Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial video. We are Taiwan Economic Journal, TEJ. And today, we are going to show you some simple steps to use our data bank, TEJ Pro. To begin with, open TEJ Pro on your desktop, and then launch it, and you will be able to see this data bank page. The data bank page mainly consists of three parts. First, there's a toolbar on the top, and you will be able to find useful tools here. And second, there is a main function list on your left, and you can refer to different functions here. Lastly, you will find TEJ Web on your right. Any data you search will pop up here. Before we head straight to the data, I want to introduce some handy tools to you. Take a look at the Techni document here. Click on it, and you will be able to access to a user manual that will help you with our data bank. And if you want more tutorial videos, you simply click on e-learning function here. And lastly, should you have any question regarding our data bank, click on contact us, and you will be able to submit your query here. Before we move into each data category, you can always use iSearch function to find the data if you don't know which category it belongs to. For example, I want to search data about debt to equity ratio, so I click on iSearch function and I input debt to equity and then I press enter and the result will be shown. Or there is another way. You could click on main function and data query to enter into our data bank and use the search bar on the top and search again that to equity press enter this will also show you the same result so now I'm going to introduce you our data bank categories so first let's go back to main function list and click on data query and this is our data bank and first TJ profile it mainly covers macroeconomics data and raw materials information. And second, for TEJ Company DB, it covers information such as monthly revenues, sales breakdown, and board members of a company. And third, for TEJ IFRS Finance New Accounting, it provides you with financial statements of listed companies. And fourth, for TEJ Equity, it covers information like stock prices, foreign institutional investors, etc. And next, for TJ derivatives, it shows you the data of financial derivatives such as warrants, futures, options, forwards, etc. And if you want to search information about funds, click on TJ Fund DB here. And if you want to search information about bond, click on here, TJ Bond DB. And last but not least, if you want to find the latest research of corporate social responsibility, ESG, and related issues, click on TJ Corporate Governance here for your reference. And today I'll mainly take you through two data bank categories, which are TJ Company DB and TJ IFRS Finance New Accounting. First, let's open TJ Company DB here. Open it, and you will be able to find information like monthly earnings and sales breakdowns here. And for example, we click on monthly sales and earnings consolidated, and the information will pop up on your right here. And you can see the monthly sales and earnings of many companies here. And if you want to refer to only one company, click on single and it will lead you to single company view. And if you want to directly search the company you want, for example, I want to find the monthly earnings of TSMC, I could search it here. I could either type the company name or ID on the top. So I type TSMC, for example, and I press enter. And then I could choose it from the list. So as I've demonstrated, it is very simple to find data at TEJ Pro. As soon as you've got company name, date, and data fields, you've got data. 
and moreover, it is very convenient to extract data at any time. When you feel that your data is ready to go, just click on export here. And the data will be exported to Excel. And what if I'm interested in more than one company? Click on rank here, and it will lead you to multiple companies view. What if I only want one data attribute at a time? And for example, I could click on anti here on the top. And it will only it will lead me to only one data attribute. For example, now it is announcement date and sale. And next, what if I find that uh, the y-axis is too lengthy and I want to change the current y-axis to x-axis for convenience of analysis I could just simply click on xy convert here click on it and the two axes will be converted like now and what if I want to create a group of companies for my own analysis I click on ID here at the top and an ID group setting form will pop up like this. At here, you can choose the companies you want by category and by industry. But first, to clear out the selected company list here, you need to click on double arrows to the left. And then say, for example, I want to create a group of companies in the foods industry. So I click on TSEC. And then I click on foods here and the corresponding companies in the food industry will be shown in the second column and then to choose these companies I click on double arrows to the right to select all the companies and lastly click save group here and name the group for example I want to name my group as group 1 and then I click on OK to name my group and the group is saved and then keep on click on confirm and so the group of my own analysis is created and next I'm going to show you another category of TEJ Pro it is TEJ IFAS Finance New Accounting so first close TEJ Company DB and move on to TJ IFAS Finance New Accounting. Open it, you will be able to find useful information or financial statements of a company here. First, click on IFAS TJ Consolidated first. And then you will be able to find financial statement items here as the data fields. What if I want to edit my own data fields? Click on Field on the top. And, and field group setting form will pop up first click on double arrows to the left to clear out the selected field and then choose the field group you want for instance I want to include balance sheet items to be in my analysis so I click on balance sheet and then click on double arrows to the right to select all the fields so all the fields will be included you can also directly search the field you want if you are not sure which category it belongs to. For example, first, reset the field group to all so that the result will include all data population. And then, for example, I want to include degree of financial leverage in my analysis. So I search degree of financial leverage and I press enter and choose the result and then click on it and click on single arrow to the right and the field will be selected remember double arrows are for selecting all the data fields while for single arrow it is to select only one data field and lastly click on save group and click on yes and name the group as you want for example, I want to name my group as Field Balance Sheet and then click on OK 
and then lastly click on save as you can see now the field now changed to the field balance sheet as we as we've just created and next I'm going to show you how to edit the date at the top right corner of the page you can indicate the time horizon you want for your analysis there are mainly three ways to indicate the date first last one means the latest one period of data and therefore last three will mean the latest three data available type last three and then press enter and it will lead you to the latest three periods of data available and for the second way you can directly indicate the date range you want for instance I want my date to be from January of 2019 to January of 2021 so I can type 2019 or 1 dash 2021 or 1 or 1 and then press enter and the result will be shown and for the third way you can find the date from the date onwards until the latest date available for example I want my data to be from January of 2019 onwards so I type 201 and then dash 999999 and then press enter the six nice means to the latest data available in addition to the ways I've just introduced there is also a function called advanced date option it is here click on it and click on cycle switching you will be able to customize your own date period here say for example I want my time horizon to be from January of 2018 to September of 2021 I type 2018 or 101 to 2021 0931 and then I could press enter or click on query and the corresponding dates will be shown and say for example instead of quarterly data I want my data frequency to be semi-annual I can click on half year here and then I click on double arrows to the right to select those dates lastly click on confirm and it's done Finally, I'm going to introduce you an additional part of TJ Pro. It is money watching and credit rating. Click on money watching and credit rating. You will be able to access to all of our research papers here. There are two ways to find a paper you want to refer to here. The first way is to choose the date you want at the bar on your left. And in addition, you could also directly search the paper on the top. So that's basically all for today's tutorial. Thank you for your time and patience watching this tutorial. I hope you will find the video helpful. If you have any question, feel free to contact TEJ. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.